This video is going to be covering additive lighting and additive lighting is the light cast from point lights or spotlights. Let me change this to spot. Actually turn it so it's pointed in the right direction. So you can see it's a little bit different on this one. I'll explain why in a second. So additive lighting is incredibly expensive by default and should basically never be used in worlds in VR anyway. And the if you do want to use a light that sort of is movable, you should set it to non-important in the rendering mode. So you're going to see a little bit of difference here because it's slightly lower quality, but it's not a big enough difference to really change anything. So this is standard here. You're going to see a huge difference on standard, but my shader handles it a lot better. So let's explain what everything does. Important lighting is going to basically force your model to render again and then overlay the new lit version on the old unlit version. And as you would expect, that's pretty expensive because you literally have to render the entire model again for every single light that touches you. That's why it's advised against, or that's why I advise against using important point lights literally ever. But there is a solution, and that is switching to non important. And this is considerably faster. It sort of just adds the lighting into the base pass for where your model was originally rendered. You get slightly lower fidelity, but considerably more performance you're gonna have basically no performance loss with these and you can have there's a limit to how many lights can touch you so important lights you can have four and non-important you can also have four but non-important lights can mess up with the directional light in the scene and only allow you to have three so if you put non-important lights on your model make sure that you're not really using more than three because you may see issues with it popping in and out. All right, let's actually cover these settings now. So the first thing you're going to see is the lighting type. Standard is standard point lights. It works basically exactly like a standard shader would. That means that if the other side has no light affecting it, it is just going to be black. So this scene actually has no lighting even though it, the background looks light, it actually has none. And the point lights are the only things lighting the scene up. So on the left you have standard, which has standard shadows. And on the right you have the um, controlled lighting, which is basically just my way of giving you control over how your lighting acts. You can see that it does not have those black edges and, or the black shadows and the light, light is actually passing through to the other side. And if you move this away, you'll see you can still get those black, but it's only where the light is sort of not reaching you at all. <clears throat> and you have control over that as well, which we will discuss here. So, well, actually, I think, yeah, we, we can discuss it here. So the point light pass through is sort of how much light passes through your model. It's going to be 0.5 by default, so only um, only half of the lighting is going to get through the other side. You can see this one, it has the exact same settings, but the pass-through is actually set to zero. So zero light is going to make it through to the other side. If you set that to one, all of the light is going to go through to the other side, but generally you're going to want this not at zero, maybe like 0 0.5, 0 0.25, somewhere in there, because a lot of worlds, for some reason, light their worlds only with point lights, and you may see your avatar looking like this. If you do see it like this, just increase your point light pass through a little bit, and you'll make sure that you don't go completely dark on the other side. The gradient start and end works a lot like math lighting. Well, actually, it works exactly the same as the math lighting. You just control where the lighting gradient starts and where it ends. So if I set the start to zero, it's going to start right here. And if I set the end to one, it's going to be fully dark on the other end. And you can change that to whatever you want. If you wanted sort of 
a tune look, you could set your gradient end to 0.5 and your gradient start to somewhere close to that. And you'll see the gradient goes from here to here. So 50% of the way across your model or 0.5, you're going to get full shadow. And then at say 0.4, you're going to start going from light into shadow. So right here. The last thing is the detail shadows and those just use the detail shadows that I showed in the light and shadow video. So if you want to fully understand how those work, go watch that. Um, just know that you can turn them on and off in the point light settings. By default, they're, they should probably be the same as your detail strength in the light and shadow settings, but they're a separate value because you may not always want those. All right, that covers additive lighting. Make sure you don't use important point lights too much or ever if possible. If you have any questions about this, there's a link to the Discord in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.